we're heading to Timber Creek today. Timber Creek is known as Boab country. Oh shit, I don't think we can go through that. We have to, we're gonna have to go fast. Carsten's doing his dance. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. I am Rose. And I am Carsten. We have ditched our jobs and going full time traveling around the world. Please come with us on this incredible journey. We would really appreciate if you consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would mean a lot to us and we really appreciate your support. Thank you, Rose and Carsten. Looks like it's on fire. We've often seen a little bit of smoke, but here is really burning a bit more. It's really burning there. We have seen sometimes a little bit smoke besides the roads, but it's the first time that we're seeing a really a bushfire so close by and it is nicely burning. I mean we are in the middle of nowhere, there's no danger for people and it's part of nature and part of the cycle here. A little bit close, darling. Oh, we have the road in between, no worries. We were planning to camp right here, um, campsite Sullivan's uh, campsite in the national park. That was that would that would have been raging over the night when we were there. We stayed about 30 kilometers before this area that's currently burning last night, and and the thing we both felt and noticed last night is we could smell the smoke really strongly and to see how much is burning and is just fresh burnt is like wow we were about to be there <laughs> we would have maybe had to pack up during the night i'm not sure it is still raging everywhere and uh, on the top of the mountain range we can see the flames and how it is burning down there we are not in danger the road is separating the fire from one side to the other side but it's a lot oh shit! that's actually on the road darling Oh shit, I don't think we can go through that. We have to? Baby, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to go fast. Shit. Shit. Oh, babe. That scared me. That was scary. We, we basically went through the flames, honey. <laughs> There is the Victoria River escarpment. It's quite pretty. I've heard there's a nice walk there. Unfortunately, it's 12:30 and it's already 36 degrees, so that's a no 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 go from us today. And we have just had the fire licking around the vehicle. <laughs> I guess we are going to cross the Victoria River. We are in the Victoria Escarpment region, right next to the Victoria River, which sometimes you can see actually. Pretty sure I've just seen a boab tree. The first one. The first big boab. Good spotting, baby. Guess we will come to plenty more. Getting closer to Timber Creek. That is our fuel stop. We need fuel. So we're gonna check out Timber Creek. That's good. They've got a gas station. Okay, United is apparently the cheapest fuel in town. It's nice art there. A boab and a dingo. Oh, closed. <laughs> Please go to the hotel for fuel. I don't know where it's at, but you will find it. That's a nice vehicle, honey. Actually, the Timber Creek was a really nice shop. Uh, they had everything. They had food. We got something called a drink. They had a box where you can donate your fruit and veggies if you're driving right through to South Australia today. We've left Timber Creek and we're in the Gregory National Park and we've seen a, so a turn off for the Gregory tree so we thought we'd check it out it says it's 3.5 kilometers and it is 
um, gravel. You can see why, you can see why this is a special site. That is, <laughs> they are big boabs. This boab here is full of fruits and I uh, can see they are laying some on the ground. I like to get one and crack it open. Let us see what is inside. Okay, it's very light. You can hear somehow the noise inside. So let me crack it. Okay, I found the fruit here. That's a boab tree fruit. And I like to crack it. Oops. Oh, it's like a rock there. And that's inside. It smells like nothing much, really. No. It looks like a little bit meringue. 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 It's apparently eaten, so you can eat it. And this looks I just like had here. some. This looks like he's a fruit. We ate some. I mean, if you're going to have a fruit, darling, it's this not is, my favourite. It the seeds look a little bit like uh, pomegranate seeds, you know? Also They're a bit just bigger. Not, just not the colour for pomegranates, but... I don't think this is the one, even. I think we're still going for the, for the big one. So this is the Gregory tree. Oh my gosh, it does look really old. So this area here was actually the base camp for the exploration from Mr. Augustus Gregory. So he had here even a small village. 19 men was living here. They came by boat 150 kilometers from the coast and started from here the exploration of this area. They sailed a ship here, honey. 145 kilometers from the ocean. They sailed and set up a camp here. Yeah, this is the history of, of the Gregory tree. The Gregory the explorer was here. Having the twin boabs, there was a forge. It was definitely good to go. It was worth it. Yes, it was very interesting. Wow. Definitely Boab country. We're coming up to our next border, guys. We are going to be crossing into Western Australia. And all of the prohibited things are listed there. Do you have any livestock? No. No, any animals? No, and we, eat, we ate the last apple. We ate the last apple? Apples are not allowed to take into Western Australia. Lots of fruit and vegetables and plants are not allowed and are not allowed. we are sure we don't have anything <clears throat> however there's still that seed of doubt that maybe you are you know you have not checked it properly but we have we you know we're ready i feel like we're ready are we ready honey we have read the list a couple of times read the list and checked it twice we can tell you sweet potatoes are allowed potatoes are not allowed carrots are allowed Onions and garlic peeled is allowed. Carson was very careful with his firewood. He washed the firewood, guys. Yeah. Super clean, super clean. The landscape is beautiful. Look at that here. Look, Look at those the rocks and the boabs. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, yeah, yeah, but the rocks, baby, the rocks. Wow. This place was marked on Wikicams for big old boabs. There's a Northern Territory sign and there is a Western Australia sign. We made it to Western Australia. Rose is putting the dance on and she put her border crossing outfit on today. Yeah, finally Western Australia, the biggest state in Australia, by far the biggest state. There is a quarantine where they will check us thoroughly or maybe not, we will see. Okay? Good. So we're just about finished with the border. They were very nice and we had to get rid of our wood. So the wood had to go. There it is. There's our firewood. They took it away, at least a half. Also if you go passing the border, it's not all it's not only requested it is clean. It's not only requested this bark free, it shouldn't have any holes or splits uh, where insects could sit in. That is actually not mentioned on the border papers. 
unser Internet, unser Internet ist ohne Menschen clean and bug free. However, it's like it is, what can we do? They are the bosses. Western Australia! Yeah, we made it! Next big things. Big, big distances again. Our first highlight in Western Australia, of course, was the border security. The second highlight is what's the name of the lake? lake? Argyle. If you got this far, thank you so much. You're a legend. If you haven't already, we would be so grateful if you would consider subscribing. It's free for you and it helps us to keep creating content. Um, give us a like or comment if you've enjoyed it or if we could improve. Thank you.